Who's in the blender? Juice Bar Special. Juice Bar Special. Let's go NBA with it. Teams. I, you could go a player if you want. I'm happy to go first. You want to go first? You tell me what you're you feeling. the way, baby. I feel I'm, like you got a couple things well, you got to get off. I'm fascinated with sort of the boxing psychological warfare in the NBA. A lot of fed guys, especially this Boston team. They got the ring. Banners up. 18. Yada, yada. Well, two dances already. You got the rebuttal of the ECF against the Pacers. You lose that game. Then we're talking about Kerr versus Tatum in this post-Olympic, whatever you want to call it, and it becomes a Kerr defensive masterclass. I mean, this team's playing top three defense, and they win in Boston on Natty TV. No Jalen Brown, so you'll give them a little bit of an excused absence. I'm more so looking, I guess, at Tatum in particular in these spots where now you're the champs, now you're going to get the best version of every team most nights, and you're going to get teams that are pissed off from last year going at you. Where are you? For me, I love to see Boston getting tested early psychologically and not coming out on top. I thought that might have been a little bit of a humble L in addition to an L in the standings going off of Wednesday night's national TV game against Curry and the boys who are what still you, figuring what, out. What are you getting at? What do you mean psychological L? Like the whole buildup was Tatum's going to cook the Warriors because Kerr snubbed them on the in the Olympics. So that would be like a psychological, okay, if you're capping the game, and I know you were thinking about betting Tatum for or against him, that kind of a thought. Those games where you don't really have mental edges or really just any kind of storyline. Could be a Hollywood log line. Could be a Natty TV layup for what's talked about talking points. Yeah, All things, all things equal. There's only going to be a few spots for Boston to really be tested psychologically where they could show us mentally they got to get better. I thought they lost a mental battle in a couple of spots yeah, I, against the Warriors. And again, we're, uh, it could be a little bit of a stretch. But again, they're the champs, so you got to be nitpicky because yeah, they're the champs. I think the last couple of years, and I've been I've done this too, every time the Celtics lose, which wasn't very much, it's like, it, it's a psychological thriller and a, this huge thing instead of just like they lost again at home, right? The Golden State Warriors, I took more of that. The Golden State Warriors defense is real deal. They're really, really good. Very, very much so. Number two across the board in a lot of categories, only behind the Thunder. First in three-point percentage allowed is the Warriors. They, they can guard the three-point line. I think it's like 28.3% going into the game versus Boston. Really, really good defensive team. Needed a lot of things to break right versus the Celtics with no Jalen Brown, their second best player on the roster. So, I mean, those are the type of games you can kind of just shake off. Like, if I'm a Boston Celtics fan or I'm Missoula, I don't really take too, too much from that L. I know what you mean, though. That I'm sorry. If I'm Tatum, I'm, I'm ridiculously salty. At my place on national television – where Kerr dogged me, dragged me, and I was trending on Twitter for all the wrong reasons. Mm. And sure, he got his stats stuffed at the end. Dude had five by half. Five by half? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's an introvert trying to be an extrovert again. I got questions about Tatum with no Jalen. Because no Jalen, they don't win ish last year. It wasn't well, Tatum. I mean, that's tough because... Yeah, I mean, Jalen does. Jalen does. You take away I feel your like second best player. It's more than mental toughness. It's like mm. I wanted to see Tatum maybe flex a little bit. Well, what, did we, just, what did we just talk about? That's not his game, and it's not. It's not coming. He's been in the league eight. He years kind of though he, brings it a little bit. He sometimes he talks a little bit. Did he not just go on a podcast and talk about some stuff that gave people reasons to talk about him? So maybe he meet, maybe he invites some of it, maybe he doesn't. I, I get it. You're asking him to be maybe someone he's not. But at the same time, on nights with no Jalen, we're looking at you, JT. Yeah, it's true. And JT's in a tough spot. He's expected to just win every night, and if he doesn't, he's a lot of different things. So I get it, and I agree with a lot of what you're saying. But I think yeah, it's overall, an it's, it's, it's an L against a really good defensive team, and they were missing their best player, and they almost won. Second best player, and they almost won. Yeah. And some may argue the best player. Some people think Jalen Brown's better than Jason Taylor. It's just, I guess to put a button on it, though, five at half. Yeah. Against the Olympic coach. I just think about other alphas in the league and what Anthony Edwards would have done in the first half against a coach that parked oh, him on I the bench. You. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like this dude got, you can make a case, not snubbed. Derek White was going crazy, though. True. Derek White was going ballistic yeah, in that first gate. quarter. So it's kind of like. Several threes let's out de- the Yeah, gate. let's defer to D. White, and that's what it is. I got another. Yeah, blender talk squad to me. Who you got? Denver Nuggets. Okay. Fair. They're in the they're in the blender because the expectations are very high. They have a three-time MVP. They're always going to be at, towards the top of the West. He's still the closest thing to an unstoppable basketball player I've seen. Probably top five coach in Malone, right? Some time. Yeah, Malone top five uh, coach? Malone. Michael, don't call him Mike, is a good <laughs> coach. Uh, so they're in the blender for me because the expectations were so high. They were just an automatic shoe-in for like a top three team in the West. They have a real opportunity to be in the play-in, honestly. like that. That's how tough, I think, and how deep the West is right now. And if you watch them, Aaron Gordon's going to be out for six weeks, potentially. Got paid. We'll see you. K- <laughs> KCP is in Orlando. How do you feel about Russ's fit he thus looks, far? He looks great last night, but prior to last night. Yeah. Plus minus last his night usage. When he played the Thunder, he had almost 30. He looked really, really good against the Thunder. Were old, those man, old team a little revenge? Yeah, were maybe. those man down stats or not necessarily? You think no, he no, can he do was that? he was impactful. Oh, no, he was impactful, but on a night tonight, I'm not sure he can do that. But that's the thing. That's why they're in the blender because Jokic had 25, 18, and sixteen or something <laughs> ridiculous say, plus money triple and dub. He needed to do that for them to win that game. They were down double digits at the half. Yeah. They had to come back, and he had to put on a clinic. I was watching the live line. That was fun. Yeah, for them to get that win, right? So, they're in the blender because things look very difficult for them. Jamal Murray's out. Yeah. I don't see the relief. I don't see them competing unless Jokic puts up numbers like that, and that's just going to take a toll on the big fella every single night throughout the year. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's interesting how to coach this team because when, you, when you've been there and done that and then the regular season's a little bit more about managing, I guess, your assets because you know it's, what you're capable of. Are you? I, I, I'm with you, though. I'm concerned. I have defensive questions. I think the depth, unless these dudes like Peyton. I mean, I see Peyton Watson more in Hotels.com commercials than <laughs> Jokic than I do on the field. Yeah. Missing two free throws clutch last night, but by the way, got Big a huge misses. block was huge. Yeah. In all seriousness, though, depth, defense. I thought Russell defense. might have followed him at the end there. but Yeah, might have. Might have. close, but yeah. But it was a good win against a team that hadn't caught an L yet. That was good. And it, no it shows you how far effort can go. And I think that's where Russ, I know where everyone's kind of down on him. It's easy to because he's kind of getting passed around as far as team to team. But this team kind of needs a Russ. If you can get the right Russ. Yeah, just like when he was at, went to L.A. If you, when you got the right Russ, he was a great Bad, Which LA put a battery in the pack. The Lakers. Like, oh, you liked him when, on the Lakers. No, initially. no, no, no. What I'm saying is, when it was good, it was rare in that Lakers situation. Yeah, he was a he was a battery in their back. Right. But when he was bad, it was really bad, and the the fans couldn't get behind that. He's been impactful every stop he's gone. This is a big lift for an older guy like Russ in Denver that they're asking of him to come off the bench and essentially be a six man type guy. Yeah. It's good stuff. Who's in the blender? NBA dish.